Well, I got on this motherfucker. What's up, Kendra? <laughs> <laughs> this your first time here? Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. Here, I ain't even gonna lie. I be watching your shit though. I be tuned in. I appreciate you. What's your name, baby? Uh, Kendra. 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 All right, all right, all right. Let me go and get somewhere situated. And we need some good light. Let me get you some, some good light. All right, is that better? Yeah. Um, um where you calling me from, honey? I'm, I'm call calling from Sykeston, Missouri. Where? Sykeston. It's in Missouri. Okay, Missouri. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. What you to do for a living? I work at Tyson's. I'm part of the sanitation crew. Okay. Do you have any kids? Yes, I got three. How old are your kids? Hello? Oh, you got to go? Willie? Are you here? Oh. I had a phone call. Oh. How many kids? Um, You have three kids. How old are your kids? I got three. I got I got two, two six-year-olds and a four-year-old. So you got two women pregnant at the same time? Yeah, they four, my kids four months apart. My old, my boy, and my girl, Lauren and Mason. Lauren and Mason, beautiful names. Um, uh, before I go back to them, why are you not with the four year old mom? Well, I'm not with the four. I mean, we just was two different people for real. Like, I mean, it was a situation where I mean, I really she was ready for something I really wasn't ready for, and I was just going through my transition of realizing that, and me realizing that I had to go on and just leave that situation alone. So <laughs> let her and let her. Leave. Like, because she's a good woman, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I wasn't ready to be the man that she needed me to be. So you are you ready to be somebody's man now? Oh, uh, yeah, most got, definitely. Do she has, do, does she have a man? No, nah, I mean, she got a little guy she talking to or whatever, but it ain't really just... get back together if you're ready now? I mean, it, it's just, like I said, we two different people, man. Like, it wasn't just about me. It was really just a lot of shit in the situation that was really going on, and we just weren't really compatible with, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really was just, like I said, two different people for real, so. Okay. I mean, but we still good. But we real good friends. Are like that's like my best friend now. Yeah. So. So the two six-year-old moms that you had pregnant four months apart. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Why sorry. You said what? Well, either of those women. I was just at, at that time. I was just in a young stage of my life, man. I was fresh, you know what I'm saying, and just getting out on my own, adventuring and doing little stuff, you know what I'm saying, and. It really just was just really doing shit for real. Like I really knew it wasn't gonna really be nothing with those with either of those two. It was just me living life young and you know what I'm saying, learning as I'm going for real. Okay. So what's your zodiac sign, Willie? I'm a Libra. Libra. And what do you do for a living? You say you work at Tyson's? Yeah. What's Tyson's again? Tyson Foods. Okay. Tyson Chicken. I got you, bro. All right. So let's do this. Let's do this. Um, this is Willie, Missouri, 29, Libra, works at Tyson's Food, has three kids. So what kind of woman are you looking for now? Me, honestly, I'm looking for, I'm just looking for some, really somebody that's loyal. Because like I said, as far as financial wise, like I know that's what a lot of men look at. They want a partner that they can, they can go half on something. I'm not really that type of person. Like I got my own, I just really want somebody that's loyal. Somebody that I know that I can confide in and somebody just my comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, does she have to look a certain way? I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. Like, I don't just want nothing that's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nothing that's just busted and disgusted, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really would like something classy, you know what I'm saying? Someone, I really prefer some or somebody older, honestly, if you really want me to be honest. Like, I feel like I'm ready for an old, I need an older woman in my life because these young girls, they just... It's too much that come with them, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you gonna have to, you gotta worry about them hitting the club and getting under the influence and being around their partners and getting influenced and get having them do you know what I'm saying? Like I don't really be in the art. I want somebody that know what they want in life, somebody that know who like somebody that really just knows what like I said, what they want in life for real. So you say you want a classy woman. This is just a question. Do you consider yourself a classy man? Of course. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type of man that just is, is outside. Like, I don't mess around with a whole bunch of different women and things like that. Like, I'm not that type of person at all. Okay. <coughs> um. All right. What's your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Ratchetness. 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 Any type of, any type of, any type of little shit that you, any type of little shit that you got going on that like secretive shit and. 
You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of like any anything that you can't be upfront with me about, basically. Like I don't. No, I, I don't, baby. I, don't do, like, I, 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 I say this. I say this with much love as I possibly can say it. You don't think three baby mamas, two kids that are the same age at the age of six, and having a four year old child by someone else, you don't think a woman will call you ratchet? I mean, uh, I mean, I, I understand. Like looking at the situation, I mean, it could be that, but. I mean, honestly, you can't judge a man on this path, especially a man that's changing in me. I know I'm a man that has changed, well, and I'm not the same well, person well, I was six years ago. This isn't a past. This is a, a, a life, because any classy woman would have to realize you have children mm -hmm. that will come first, and she would want to be part of their lifestyle. So it's not a past mistake. It's something she would have to deal with if you call it a past mistake. Your kids are... I'm not saying... I'm not... No, 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 no. I'm not saying it as a past mistake. I mean, I'm saying as far as, like, how can I put this? No, just as far, like, like how you women are judged by their kids. Women that you're describing will judge a man by his kids too. There's plenty of men that come that. up here and judge women all the time about the amount of kids they have, the amount of baby daddies. And the woman you describe, like a classy woman, mm -hmm. she might judge you for those things. I understand it. And then but I can't and I can't be mad at her. That's one thing about it too. I like I, I want somebody that's gonna accept me, like accept me and everything that come with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like because I'm willing to do this, because I'm willing to do the same, you know. What I'm like I said, it's really all about for real. Kendra is really all about honesty with me, man. Like I, don't, I don't care about what you did. It's just let me know from the jump, so I'm not getting surprised. Like when it, you know what I'm saying, like we out in the club or something, and you got niggas laughing at me because they done ran you or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like just be upfront with me about what's going on. That's basically all I care about for real. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam, honey. Oh, I got to stand up. Yes. <laughs> Oh my God! I ain't got no type of clothes. I literally just got you out got the shower. You got your pants baby. You, your pants was off your butt. This better for you. Well, you don't gotta put that. <laughs> <laughs> now I like this. this look, okay, look, but that's the ratchet pants style. Now you say you want a classy girl. This is the way ratchet men they keep their pants halfway down. Classy girl gonna want to know she can bring you to classy place. I mean, but I'm at but I'm at the crib though. You know what I'm saying? I'm at home, so you got it's different. Have on a whole gel uniform. They be orange. Oh my god! And then he trying to get shirt. off on me, Kenzie. You supposed to be trying to find baby. I'm, you supposed to be trying to find somebody for me. You getting off on me? <laughs> I'm trying, but maybe this will maybe this will help you understand why you haven't attracted the girl you want yet. Yeah, probably so. Like, if someone just tuned in right now, they would think I'm talking to a man in jail. If they just tune in at this Oh, moment, my God. Because you got the no, 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 you got the jail. shorts, you got the white beater. You're not in I'm jail, at, though. I'm, I'm, at home. I'm at home. I'm relaxed. What you expect? You want me to be dressed up in my home? You don't got to be dressed up in your home, baby. I'm just telling you why you might attract. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in law of attraction. So why you might be attracting the woman that you say you don't want. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you got to be suit and tie in the house. No, I'm not saying that. Um, well, I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, honestly, I really didn't know you was finna click on my shit for real. I really just look. I just looked to see if she was live. I'm like, let me click on this motherfucker see if she gonna pick my name. And you fuck around and did. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, this she gotta make a certain amount of money. No, I ain't. I told you, I ain't tripping on. I ain't tripping, but but you ain't finna be broke and not doing nothing. Like you gonna have some type of hustle about yourself, some type of ambition. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want nobody that don't have no type of drive about themselves, but money like I'm not I'm not worried about how much money you make as long as you're making something. Okay. When was your last relationship? My last relationship was about about six months ago. Six months ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone? The last time about that time. About oh six months. You went six months. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not no horn dog, man. Like sex ain't, sex is really like nothing to me for real. Like that's literally like a pleasure. Like I'm not fucked up by fucking. Like I done went through that stage in my life. That's why I'm really at this point in my life I am now because like I done did all of that, just running and being the playing the field, and you know what I'm saying. Like I'm cool on all that. Like that's why I said it's really, it's really like, it's really about trusting and building a building a a tight bond. It can't be broke for me, man. Like all that other shit, I right, we can work that out later. Okay, so you really want to be with one woman now? You said what? So you want to be with one woman now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Most definitely. So why do you think you're single, honey? 
Why am I single? Yes. I think I'm single because a lot of the women that I run into ain't ready for what I'm ready for. Mm. Now, <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's just, it, like, I mean, it, it, it's cool. It's cool, like I said, playing the field and, and talking to this person and dealing with it. But like I said, as you get older, man, you start realizing that shit ain't really about nothing for real, man. And like I said, I'll be 30 this year, so I'm at that point in my life where it, it's time for me to just, you know what I'm saying? It's time for me to settle down. And I'm really just trying to get that bond built early, but you know what I'm saying? Because I want to be married by like 35, 40. Okay. Honestly. Do you want more kids? Yeah, I do. On me. Hell yeah. Okay. And can the woman have kids already? Yeah, yeah that's cool. You like, said you want somebody like older. What's uh, what's the age range, honey? Older? Shit. Yeah, about 65, 70. You do not want no 65, <laughs> 70. Oh, do you really? Of oh, course. No, 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 no. Hell no. Nah. No, nah, but, but like, really, I could do like between like between like 25 and between like 25 and I, the, high, the highest I would go is like 40. The highest you would go is 40. 40. Okay, and does she have to be in Missouri? No, nah, hell no. Nah. I prefer not to be, honestly. So you will relocate? <laughs> hell yeah. I'm ready to get away from this motherfucker as soon as possible. Where do your kids live? I got, I got one in Nashville. No, I got one in Florida. I got one in Memphis, and I got one here with me. Okay. okay. All right, let's do it. So this is really <laughs> Missouri 20. What you want me to say? I can't. I can't, I can't say no. Nah, I, I love you, Kendra. You hear me? I can't say that, man. You just keep me laughing and smiling all day, bro. I swear. I ain't want to be one of them ones that you get on here and be like, oh, oh. Well, you know what I'm saying? saying? Here's the deal, right? Let me just, okay, I'm going to give you a perspective, right? I remember uh, one time I dated a guy. He had a lot of money, uh, was very flashy, mm -hmm. uh, but I knew I wasn't going to date him long because he had a daughter that he claimed there was differences between her and the mom, him and the um the mom and him, mm -hmm. and he hadn't seen his daughter in year in years, and I couldn't respect it because I just felt like you you're so successful, you like have all these cars, you're literally a millionaire, but you're not fighting to have a relationship with your daughter. So I knew it was only a matter of time that we would have to end because I just could not respect that. That's yeah, a character. Like, like, That's hey, a character and, and thing never, for me. I could never be that person like to not fuck with my kids like even even because it was a situation with my second like my second child like it was a little situation to where like i had a winning period of time to where she wasn't letting me see him or talk to him or nothing like that you know what i'm saying but honestly i feel like that's a situation you got to let work yourself out for real but in your case it like as far as not making an effort at all yeah that shit ain't cool like and, and and it's I, no no one listen, that, i don't i don't know you well enough to know a lot about you i do like that you do seem like you're making changes like you used to be one way and you learn from those mistakes so now you're trying to live a different way which i do respect but the reason i asked where your kids live so it seems like you don't have to see them on a regular basis no i don't get to but i talk to them at least once a week okay. I, I make sure that once a week oh, okay. yeah okay. At, at least at least one it, just, just for the simple fact because they so far and then they moms like they they their moms have lives of their own too so i can't really talk to them every day like i want to I understand. All right, well, let's do it. Give them your Facebook page. My Facebook page is John Max, J O H N, Max, M A X. they going in on me in the comments on God. <laughs> well, listen, listen, the only reason I say this, and I feel like, like, I mean, women do this too. Nobody wants who they attract, right? right. And at some point in time, you got to ask yourself, why do I attract this said person? that I don't want, because there's plenty of classy women in the world. Hell yeah. Like the woman you described, she exists. So we just got to see if, if she, you know, feels the same about you. Maybe she does. You know, I can't speak for every woman. Let's do it. Give them your Facebook page once again. My Facebook page is John Max. John, hey, follow me on Instagram, too. My Instagram is what? Lil Willie, L-I-L. Do Instagram over all, Facebook? All of it. I'm doing all of that shit. All well, do the one that you know you don't want to confuse the people. Honey. My, you gotta give the one. My Facebook, my Facebook name is John Max J O H N M A X, and my Instagram is Lil Willie underscore B S M underscore okay. B L I L W I L L I E 
underscore BSM. I rap too. On God, go get my new mixtape, Go Mode 2. Okay, you everywhere. rap? God. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you share 10 sec 20 seconds. Give us 20 seconds. I'm just another nigga from the trenches. Came from food stamps, section eight, and government assistance. Everybody got a chopper or a Glock with an extension. A lot of killing, dealing, running from the law to jumping fences. So much pain a nigga been through. A lot of scars still need healing. That's why I stay in my bag and try to stay up on my feeling. See, back then I was wilding, but I'm older, so I'm chilling. I'm gonna keep stacking these thousands till I run it to the millions. Yeah, hard times. That's what make a man. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 is there an example of this classy woman that's famous that you could use? You said what? Is there an example of this classy woman that's famous so I can get an idea of the kind of woman you desire? I want somebody like India Royal. Oh, okay. She like, like, okay. like, off the radar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, pop out. Yeah, pop out and look good whenever, but off okay. the radar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now that type of girl, I think would would be into you okay okay see i'm happy oh, i'm happy i asked you for an example me too. yeah yeah, uh, yeah hell yeah okay i'm glad you did for real because that was a perfect one okay all right but we gotta go keep me posted how it goes honey all right, all right kendra thank you, you. welcome both